At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programmes offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. Uh, this small um, webcast is about the relationship between constant maturity swaps and swap options. And what we're going to look at is the practical methods of uh, pricing by hedging um, CMS with swap options. And if we're looking at a payer swap option uh, in this first example, as rates sell off, you'll see the payer swap option going in the money. But of course, as rates rise under a sell off in the market, uh, then what, of course, we see is that the DVO1 declines. So if the DVO1 declines, the cash amount earned by being long that swap option. Now, um, if we then start to think a little bit about how we um, look at the swap option uh, as a replicator for a CMS, a constant maturity swap, we can start to think about what the payoff of the swap option and the CMS looks like together. So I'm going to switch back to the slides for this, and we'll have a look at this on the slides. OK, so if we see on this slide, then, you can see that we have the payoff of the swap option. Um, that's the curved line. And then the purple line on this slide is the payoff of a 10-year CMS. Well, and it's a 10-year CMS cap. So the payoff is the difference between the strike rate, which is 5% in this example, and the we can do that with a series of out-of-the-money receiver swap options in this case. Um, you'll see an at-the-money receiver swap option um, gives you a payoff, which of course is convex in the opposite direction to the payer swap option, the DVO1 increasing as rates rally, as rates come down. So um, if we're going long a CMS floor, uh, we go long a receiver swap option at the money and short a series of out of the money receiver swap options. And we do an increasing number of out of the money receiver swap options to fill the gap, but the other way. The spreadsheet you can download from the London Financial Studies website uh, along with this uh, little video. Um, so you can actually have a look at the details of this. But I'll just talk you through the main points of the sheet. And if we start off on the left-hand side of the sheet here, you can see I'm plotting a range of different swap rates from 0% all the way through to 13%. And I'm looking at the payoff. We can now start to think a little bit about valuing those swap options uh, which are out of the money. Uh, and you can see here is about 2.11%. Um, if you multiply your 31.81% um, by the 2.11%, which is the swap rate, the forward starting swap rate, you get to a good degree of approximation in our model. So we have to move things on a little bit. And what we actually do these days is have a completely different way of thinking about volatility um, in that we start to make volatility uh, a type of asset which has, can be replicated by a vanilla swap and a bundle of out-of-the-money payer and receiver swap options, but to price those correctly. Why do I need to buy both out-of-the-money payers and receivers to edge a CMS position where I am short the market? So I've got a CMS position where I'm short the market. In other words, I benefit from sell-offs in rates. Well, I can replicate that by buying a CMS cap and selling a CMS.